All right, guys, we're going to do a little mail call today. Uh, some of you who are on the Stomper Museum may recognize this particular one. Um, it was a recent auction on the group. I ended up winning at the last minute and uh, pretty excited to get this. Once you get uh, a lot of stompers and stuff like that in your collection, it's not as often that you get to uh, have big mail calls. I remember a time where almost every day I had a mail call coming in and uh, you know when you're first building your collection that's the most fun time and then uh, it starts to slow down a little bit so enjoy it while it's going let's see here this is what it is Canadian home hardware with the box actually the box is a little better than I had thought from the uh, from the listing it's got a few waves in it, but I'll be able to uh, fix all that up. I'm trying to open it without messing up the flaps here. Because uh, the way they made these, they didn't want them to open up without ripping them. Seems like. There we go. Alright, let's slip it in. Or slip it out. <laughs> All right, so here's what we've got. It's a home hardware semi. These were uh, released in Canada. This one was sold for $6.99 on the original tag. It says, well, sold at the home hardware store, obviously. I don't know if you can make that out or not. If you can't, then check out the Stomper Museum on Facebook because I will be posting lots of photos of this. There's the back side. Everybody likes the back side. All right. So the semi, one of the flaps is off of it. So let me snap that bad boy back on there. All right, the semi looks like it's uh, probably never been used. Looks like brand new. Battery compartment looks like brand new. So there's the semi. It's kind of in this, uh, what I call a uh, smoker stain yellowish color. It's not the most desirable color, but as far as I know, that's the only ones that come in that color. So the, uh, hmm. Yeah, it's got a little, looks like a small crack here. Uh, what I found there's these are brittle. Um, I don't know if it's what they use different plastics or what the deal is, but uh, I have noticed that the uh, Canadian Home Hardware plastics seem to be brittle. So I don't even want to put the put the legs down here. It's got a stomper mud flap on the back, and uh, yeah, it's got a little small crack right here by the kingpin. I didn't know about that. That's kind of disappointing, but again, I've noticed they are a little bit fragile, so show that off. Like I said, it's in this funky, funky color. They, uh, some of it's discolored, but also they are just in that weird color. I don't, it doesn't even really match the semi itself. The stickers are pretty close in color, but the other parts aren't. But uh, anyhow, looks, looks pretty good and uh all that stickers are starting to get a little wrinkle in them which that's pretty normal too so it'll probably spend most of its days in this box i don't know what that is anyway can't per expect perfection out of them because they weren't perfect when they were new they were uh, kids toys meant to be played with so this is a uh, this is an original semi here that I already had, but I had to make a trailer for it. So I made a very similar in color trailer, and uh, been trying to sell this one, but haven't had any takers. So probably gonna repurpose that into something else. But anyway, here's the uh, the paperwork that was included. Got a fifty cents off on Energizer. In the U.S., they pretty much uh, were pushing for 
uh, Duracell for the most part. So maybe over there it was Energizer because as you can see here, it says Energizer. So we got a cool little order form for some shirts and hats that they had back then. I see the semi hat on here. Somebody recently found one of those. So there's probably more of them out there at some Goodwill somewhere. You got some original instructions on how to operate your semi. And on the back, it's got it in another language. I'm assuming that's probably French. I think in Canada, um, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe any toys that were sold back then had to have French on there also. Like I said, I could be wrong. I'm not. It's just something that I think I heard. This here's a uh, competition pull um, instruction sheet. It actually looks a little different than what I'm used to seeing. So this may be something unique to the Canadian versions also. I'll probably scan some of that stuff in and post it up. And uh, all of that sort of thing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's mail call. And uh, I appreciate everybody who watched. And uh, be sure to stomp around, guys.